In this video, you'll be learning about talent architecture. So it comprises of uh, five different components. As you can see here, uh, the clients, server, and repositories, database, and execution server. On the right hand side, you will see the picture, um, the architecture diagram. So uh, this uh, diagram starts with uh, the talent open studio. Um, open studio, is, since it's a free product, it comes only uh, with uh, the talent open studio part. None of these parts will be included in the free product. So this is where you will uh, do maximum of your work. Uh, you will develop your code, test it, and run it whenever you're needed. And that's it. That's that's all about uh, the Open Studio, uh, wh wherein uh, enterprise version, which is the talent data integration or data um, big data or cloud integration uh, suite of product, it will also come with um, the version controlling. Basically, as soon as you save your uh, talent uh, job. Uh, if you follow this blue line, uh, a copy of a copy of the job, I mean the source code will be saved in either Git or SVN. SVN was up until um, seven, and seven onwards, uh, there's um, a huge demand for it going uh, with Git. So this is where all your source code is saved, and when uh, your testing is successful, when the uh, job is ready to publish, all you do is uh, the studio publishes the built job into Nexus. So the difference between these two is uh, Git contains all the source code, which is uh, not a binary, and Nexus contains the built job. And then moving on to uh, the other part of the blue line here. So this is the web browser. Once this is done, once the code is published to uh, Nexus, uh, next a, a user would be logging on to the web browser uh, through TAC. So tag here is basically talent administration center. This is where uh, you create all your users, roles, rights, and um, all the metadata, execution, scheduling, uh, everything happens uh, directly on the tag. So a tag uses basically, uh, tag interacts directly with Nexus and uh, the various databases and also the execution servers. So let's see, as soon as a uh, job is deployed, Right, so that when when what happens when uh, code is deployed? So the tag talks to Nexus. It brings in the latest copy of the built code, and then deploys it to a job server. This is how the flow is, and and all, and all the execution on job server will be monitored by the talent admin center, and it will show uh, us the log, whether the execution was successful or failed, and things like that. And, and he, here you see like job server and a runtime server. Basically the difference is uh, all the DI, data integration jobs, uh, gets executed on job server. And all the uh, enterprise service bus, ESB platform jobs will be running on runtime containers. So this is the difference between these two. And moving on, uh, the third section is the databases. Um, so as I said, uh, uh, whatever operations you do on TAC will be directly saved onto the database. So when you create a user and assign a role and grant him access to a project, all those uh, transactions will be saved under admin database. So there's an admin database, there's an audit database and a monitoring database. This is also called as AMC and uh, audit database is where uh, you uh, store all your stats and logs and things like that. So literally you can have all the three uh, databases in one single instance of MySQL, SQL Server or whatever. Uh, it can be a different schema or all in one schema, all in all or in uh, different technologies or uh, a separate you know, database um, concept altogether. So there's a flexibility you can choose uh, from, but most preferred way is to get all these databases created in one single instance so that it is easier to communicate and then um, you know, complete uh, the operation. So these are all apart the various parts um, in the architecture, the client section, the repository section. Uh, here it is only source code and here it is the built code. So that is the difference here. And job server and runtime is basically DI jobs gets executed on a job server and all the ESB jobs gets executed on the runtime server. And whatever you do on talent tag, will be directly saved on uh, databases, basically admin and audit and then the monitoring. And monitoring, uh, just to you know, give a quick background, you can set uh, the AMC, uh, which is activity monitoring. 
uh, you can capture all the stats and uh, executions time, start time, end time, uh, whether it is succeeds, failed, all those uh, things written into a database and there's a dashboard feature within Talent Tag and you can see uh, how, how how's your nightly load or an hourly load going on on Talent um, you know, execution. So these are all um, the components uh, involved in the Talent architecture. I hope you like it and uh, uh, happy learning. Thank you.